Hi everyone, it's Monty. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a um, VR for Gina, um, Scrapanology. She is having a giveaway challenge um, using the Snow and Cocoa collection she'd like you to use. Um, or if you can't, if you don't have that, then um, something that matches it. So I pulled out my Snow and Cocoa, which I love. And um, I was going to show you uh, real quickly what I made. Um, what she was requiring was uh, three sets of two embellishments that were the same. So I'm not sure what else she's doing with them, but um, and she wanted them to be kind of flat. So she was wanting embellishments or like journaling spots. So um, I was going to show you what I made. Um, the the challenge go ends uh, September 30th, and um, and then you get an extra point for a VR on YouTube, and then also you get an extra point if you do a post on Instagram. And those are extra if you want to, you don't have to do that. So anyway, just thought I'd show you real quick what I made so that I can get these off in the mail so I don't, I'm not late for it. Anyway, I made these cute little pockets. Um, pull them out of here to show you what I did, if I can. <clears throat> I may not be able to. What I did was put a piece of, um, for packaging, I, I a lot of times just don't like to do like a just plain in the package, so I like to put something on the background. Anyway, I decided to put like a little piece of um, tool behind there. So if you can see it sparkling through their little, the little dots. So anyway, I made a pocket out of the snow and cocoa things, and then um, I put an eyelet in here, and then I tied a cute little... Um, uh, what you call it? Um, snowflake onto there, and then I layered on another, like a, just a holographic um, paper cut snowflake on top of that, and then I used some puffy stickers from the Snow and Cocoa collection, and then I just put a little tiny pink um, pom pom from the collection, and then I tied it, just a little pink twine bow up there, and then I added on a little um, die cut tree, and then a little piece of jam on the top. I sewed all the way around, sewed it all together, and then I also sewed on the um, on the piece that goes inside. So I'll pull it out. Um, I used this new die that I got. I think I showed you guys in the haul video I did a couple days ago that um, I got a new um, ticket die. It has two tickets in it, two different ones, and they're long. What did I do with that? I'm going to show you guys. Um, see if I can see it real quick. Oh, here it is. So this is the die. So it's got this one and this one, and then it's got two singles. Um, so I used uh, this one because this one I thought would be all folded also, like stay in one piece. But this one, even though it's long, it actually cuts. Um, those are all, they all cut out single, so they don't stay together. But this one um, stays in one piece. So I cut some long pieces out and I just cut it in half to make two different ones. I sewed all around it. I just made it so you can like unfold it, put a bow on top. So it just gives it something, you know, pretty up on top to look at. But you can unfold it and add some journaling or whatever there, fold it back up. She so can journal right here, or, you know, write stuff. And then it just fits down in the thing, and I thought it'd be cute with the um, the calendar pieces on the front in case she wants to, you know, mark a date or you know something like that on those. So anyway, that is that one, and the other one is the same, just um, a different color up here on the front, but everything else is pretty much the same, just different colors, but everything is the same that I use. So there's those two. So there's those two things. So that's my one. And then I did some more here. I made, since I had the little single tickets, I made the little tickets here. Um, I and hi and hi. So I'm gonna I have the single tickets table. here, and I sewed around them, um, and then I layered on a little piece of ruffled um, fabric trim right here and then I have a little flat doily there and it's layered with some uh, tool on top of it and then I have a pretty um, 
gold foiled um, snowflake here, and then uh, pink cardstock, smaller um, snowflake there, and then a little pink ribbon there. And then I have a little chipboard piece that says peace on top of that, and then um, a little tiny little deer that I cut out of some glitter paper. And then this is the same thing, just kind of um, the, the base is a little bit different color, but other than that, these are both the same. So that's my second set. And oh, I forgot to mention that she wants everything f fairly flat, okay? So that's why I tried not, I, I did a bunch of layers, but I, tr I didn't put any foam in between any of them so that it wouldn't be super thick. So they, so even though they're layered pretty good, they're not, they're not super thick. So hopefully that'll work for her. So I just put them inside there. So there's that second set. And this is the, the bag topper I made for it, just a tiny little pink um, doily, and then I just cut up, made a banner, flag banner, out of one of the pieces of paper. I used another one of the tickets that I sewed around, and then I made three tiny little bows and just um, put them on with pop dots so she can take those off and use them if she wants. And then I am just clipping the whole thing out with a tiny little um, clothespin so that she can reuse everything. So there's that. And then next I made these. So it was a um, shaker die that I used that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and so I got, it's shakered inside, um, but I didn't, I didn't want to put any foam or anything because she didn't want, you know, she didn't want thick. So I didn't put any foam in so it, they don't move around very much because it's, well, one thing, it's got the glitter paper and so it's kind of, they kind of stick to it. But then also I didn't put any, you know, um, spacer in there to make them flow easily. But anyway, made the little um, uh, ornament, and then I layered it with the pretty white feathers all around. So like a feather trim, and then on on top of that, I layered the um, some pink sequin trim, topped off with those gold um, leathery type bows, a pink snowflake, and then one of these gems. Really pretty gems are kind of like a. Um, what do you call it? Kind of like an ombre. It came out of this package that I got off of a haul I did for um, from Spellbinders. Anyway, you can see how they're not all pink. You know, they go from dark pink to light pink to kind of a white. So really pretty. So that's what I used on there. So I made these, you know, as flat as I could keep them, <laughs> but I wanted to do something, you know, different. So, so those are those two. And then I just put a piece of um, this blue and white striped vellum behind here for the background of the pa in the packaging. So there's that. And then I went ahead and made one more set. So this will be four sets, just to give a little something extra. So this one, I used the um, pieces that I cut out from inside of here, when you cut out. I used um, the back side of it, which is this kind of uh, wood grain looking. And then I layered it up on another piece of um, cardstock so it gives a little bit of strength and then I have um, the really pretty gold um, snowflake there and then I have like a little chipboard snowflake here I trimmed it in some angel dust um, I glued on some pretty little pom-poms from the snow and coca collection and then I cut this piece of uh, a banner it was like three of these words in a row and so I cut them in three strips and put fish gels on each of them. And then what I did was went ahead and put some clear, those clear um, like bubbles over the top of them. Um, and, and first I had I put on some of that um, triple thick down so it's, and then I coated it with, and I poured some the angel dust on it. So made it all glittery. But I think that looks kind of cool how it's got the little bubbles on top of the letter so you can still see, still read the word and everything. But anyway, so I made her two of those, so I thought that was kind of cute. So it's, uh, you know, no layers, no no foam. <laughs> oh, I guess I did put one little strip of thin foam on the back of the flag thing because I already had the height of the pom-poms anyway. So, so there's that. So those, those are little four sets of them for her. So anyway, I need to get them shipped off so I can get there in time. Oh, and this is going to be, I, I have another ticket right here with some more of the bows and then I attached a little piece of um, gold 
sequin trim to it and that I'll attach that to this package here too so once I get it in the in the pack so that is my quick share for um, Scrapanology. it's Gina um, you can go um, check her out um, on her channel um, yeah see what all she receives it should be a really pretty um, items that she received using the snow and cocoa because that's such a pretty set so anyway hope she likes what I send her um, guys go check her out I'll link her channel below and um, thanks so much for watching and everybody take care bye